Hey fellow comrades, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get your Pokemon Red, Blue, Pokemon Gold, Silver working online using the following emulator. Of course, uh, there are a couple of things I'm not going to feature because I feel like uh, certain knowledge is required and uh, this kind of stuff are pretty basic, such as how to use WinRAR and how to extract this stuff, uh, you know, where to find Pokemon ROMs. Uh, this stuff are basic and I, I'm not going to support those. So, I'm gonna be supporting the emulator, that's for sure. I'm gonna be leaving the link to the emulator itself in the description. Feel free to click it. If for some reason the link doesn't work for you, I'm gonna leave a plan B in the description as well. I'm gonna write down the actual name of the emulator, uh, you know, the version of it, so you can Google it and find another site that's gonna give you a successful download because of course where lots of people click the link it gets messy and sometimes some people cannot even download it some people cannot even successfully open it not everybody is using the same browser not everybody is getting the same results you know in the majority you know you you gotta expect some errors to happen and we need to have a backup plan for that so of course the most basic logical backup plan would have been searching on Google finding another another site that brings you the same content to download and hopefully get a successful download and extract the stuff to get it work but here it is uh, you, you make a new folder basic stuff of course you need to extract it by using WinRAR or any kind of other extracting program to get it down there but what you get is this right here the actual ROM you will need to download now I kinda recommend Pokemon Red because well it's not like I love Pokemon Red and I hate Pokemon Blue that's not it but we're here to online battle and I'm not sure if Red supports Blue you know and I'm, I'm not sure if somebody's gonna download Red and the other person is gonna download Blue if it's gonna be compatible so why risk it if we can just play it safe so I kinda recommend everybody to download Pokemon Red okay just do that the next step is quite important I feel like why not play it safe do not use the emulator's quick save future just in-game save and go from there but let's go straight to it so once you have the ROM itself downloaded you put it into the folder where you have the emulator just to make stuff balancing to make stuff organized uh, you know make stuff easier for you to work with you just click TGB dual you go here uh, you go down here uh, yeah and you click here right here uh, you see the ROM you just click it and you click your ROM and the other person you know wherever he lives the location you know in the world uh, must do the same you you pretty much need to be how do we say synchronized with each other as stuff progress on as you're gonna connect as somebody's gonna host that the other is gonna you know as somebody's gonna serve the other is gonna join you gotta be you know synchronized with each other so talk over Skype you know wherever just you know talk a lot just so people know where they're at and when to join and so on but uh, uh, you click here and you just click Pokemon Red again pretty much same stuff nothing special right here you see this uh, big screen it is big wide screen well I have the just all blanked out uh, you're gonna have number see here now the first number is gonna be your IP address you click that number you click it uh, the little blue color is gonna go over those numbers and uh, yeah that's gonna be important now if you're the one that's hosting you're gonna need to send your other guy your IP address uh, and then you go down here of course you send your IP address to the other guy so once he starts joining he's gonna type in your IP address and he's gonna connect at the same time you're gonna connect you know, or at least close to that same time but uh, here you're just gonna type down the same numbers that are written down in this case 65535 yes uh, yeah it's a bit hard to translate when <laughs> you actually see question marks everywhere but uh, once this is done then you're gonna connect we're gonna connect right now but let's say you're gonna join somebody well pretty much the same stuff need to be made you need to click uh, your game twice you need to go down here and you need to ask the other guy to give you his IP address because of course he's gonna see the IP address again in that big screen right there he's gonna click that screen he's gonna send you his IP address what you're gonna do is you're gonna click right here and you're gonna write down his IP address um, not, you know just the numbers he's gonna send you and you're gonna go down here and again you're gonna need to do this 
and connect. At the same time, he's gonna do the same stuff you did, you know, in that previous attempt that I have shown you. But that's uh, pretty much it. That's pretty much all you gotta do. You have a little conversation with him just so you know when he's gonna talk to the girl. And once he talks to the girl, you talk to the girl. And being synchronized with each other is quite important. But um, it should work fine. Now, I'm gonna put a little annotation right here to a video that was uploaded by Mac Crimson Cobra a good while ago. Yeah, I'm not sure when, like one year ago or something. It's an older video now, but uh, he's gonna explain how to make Pokemon the first generation. Of course, uh, the link is gonna be located in the description, um, you know, just to play it safe. So click it there to get a simple guide on how to make your Pokemon done, you know, uh, quickly. But, uh, you know, it takes a bit of effort, but again, you know, the nostalgia feeling playing these games, it's so much differently. I feel like um, it's stuff that take patience, but it brings reward at the end. So, yes, guys, um, uh, there are a couple of things I want to say as we end this video. I hope you guys have understand this stuff. I hope I wasn't too messy. I, I'm pretty sure I was, and lots of people are like, oh, what, what, what the hell is going on? Now, I want to say that uh, there is a couple of things I was really thinking about because I want everybody to enjoy this, you know. Uh, I have Skype and I have. I'm actually coming down close to 1,000 contacts. I'm, I'm actually coming down close, to, and you know, it's really not going to be that hard to find a match when I think about it. Well, who knows? But uh, I'm pretty sure that it's going to be harder for people that don't really have, you know, that many options. Where are you going to be looking for first and second generation? You know, Smogan is not going to work in other channels like Maryland, Serbi, you know nobody's gonna play first and second generation there so it's um, it's nearly impossible to get battles done so we need to make a site we need to make a zat chat whatever we need to make something that's gonna that you just gonna join forces that people know there is an actual place where they can look for first and second generation matches i feel like this would have been a great idea uh like uh like of course some people have done with the third generation i feel like this needs to be made for first and second generation as well you know a place where people can get along uh, get some matches done where everybody has the same goal uh, you know getting there having some fun of course finding first and second generation would have been nearly impossible if you would have gone like on smoke and vive of hunter and type in second generation people would think yeah yeah let's bring second generation of course they would have not gotten the idea uh without having some knowledge what's happening on youtube but uh yeah that would have been definitely a good step to make of course if the zat chat is ever made i'm gonna leave a link on my channel as well as on every first and second generation video i will upload in the future and I will let you guys know about it. I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Hope you guys, um, you know, get the full picture. Uh, ROMs are easy to download uh, nowadays, uh, the basic knowledge. And again, you know, the basic knowledge is kind of required. Win WinRAR to extract the stuff, again, the basic knowledge. Uh, you know, if you have problems, you know, WinRAR, just Google it how to use WinRAR and how to extract this stuff. It's it's pretty simple for all the people that don't know how to extract this stuff. But uh, get stuff done. Get me on Skype if you want to have a match with me. Again, I'm going to be looking to make a Z-Chat or maybe somebody else can make me a Z-Chat because I'm kind of busy at times. So that would be kind of cool. I would have definitely plug it in your name. You know, a chat uh, where people can, can get in there and, you know, have a, have a fun time. Uh, yes, but uh, that's it. That's it. Until next time. Peace.